Hello friends. On the 22nd of May 2021, in the Goma region of Congo, one after the other, around 92 earthquakes struck. And along with this, the firefighter Mount Nailer Aginga took a large part of Congo under its wing. Now, for the Congolese people, obviously, it was an extremely fatal incident which only those people were suffering from. But you know what is weird? After this incident in Congo, a few hundred miles from India, they started getting worried. Because, they say, very soon, our coastal regions of Mumbai, Gujarat, Goa, Karnataka, and Kerala, can turn into snow-cold deserts like Tibet. Now, I know, as unbelievable as it may sound, but it is true. And I will prove this to you. Look at this map. This is the place where these 92 earthquakes struck. And these are the cracks which, in the last 30 to 40 million years, have caused the earthquake in Zimbabwe, which is now a part of Zimbabwe. Now, you can see here, the cracks caused by the earthquake in Congo are being found from the old, the huge cracks that have been caused by the earthquake. Meaning, this earthquake that came only in Congo is proof that not only Congo, but the whole of Africa is breaking into two pieces. And right now, this process of breaking is getting faster. Now, why are Indian geologists scared of this? So, look, according to a research, Africa splitting has been a million years ago. And it has caused people to fall from four feet to feet. And it has forced people to walk on the ground. And very soon, this very strong splitting will destroy the living creatures of the green western gods of India and replace them with unique species of living creatures. So, now comes the question, why will India's west coast turn into a cold desert? Actually, in the year 2021, the geologist of University of Utrecht in the Netherlands, Dalwaven Hinsbergen and his team, were studying the past activities of the tectonic plates of the Earth. When they saw, 45 million years ago, the geological activity of the Earth was similar to the geological activity of the Earth. They saw that 45 million years ago, the land off the Indian subcontinent that split apart from a large Australian plate. After that, it slowly slid up and collided with the Eurasian plate. This collided with the fact that the land off with the plates folded and started to rise up. And then, the world's highest mountain chain, the Himalayas, was born. Now, after seeing this incident, Hinsbergen had a question in his mind. What are the chances of a higher mountain than the Himalayas in the future? So, to see these chances, he started studying the future movements of tectonic plates through computer simulations, and what they found was extremely shocking. He saw that the African continent is currently breaking into two plates, the Nubian plate and Somalian plate. And if in the future, these two plates were completely separated, then in such a situation, the newly formed Somalian plate will quickly start to move towards India, and then will collide with our western coast. And the impact of this collision between them will be so great that a new mountain range will be born on the western boundaries of India, called the Somalias. These Somalias, according to the simulation, will be higher than the Himalayas. And this will lead to Mumbai, Gujarat, Goa, Kerala, all the sand-filled beaches of the country, which will turn into a cold, barren desert, like Ladakh and Tibet. Because, even though these areas are only a few meters above sea level, but as soon as there is a collision, due to its impact, all these areas will reach to the height of half of Mount Everest. And you know, Tibet will take the form of Aplado. That is, the average temperature here will drop from 30 degrees Celsius to a range of 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. But friends, as you all know, the simulation off Hensbergen, this whole scenario was based on the two parts of Africa being divided. 
But is this really happening with Africa? Is Africa, at the very real time, being divided dinto to parts? Well, to verify this, they started measuring therid of their breaking from where two plates air breaking, and then, surprisingly, they found out that these two plates are really the rate of our nails growing, that is, going away from each other at a rate of 67 millimeters, and the evidence of their going away from each other has been found out 150 years ago. In fact, in the late 1800s, due to an epidemic, in the Kenya region of East Africa, the geologist of the then famous London Museum, John Gregory, had the first proof of the collapse of Africa, because the British Empire was ruling over South Africa in those days, and at that time, they moved towards the northeast and the eastern part of Africa, they decided to occupy the eastern part, and that's why, to understand this region, they get the mapping of this region done with the help of Gregory. But, as soon as they left the Lamu harbor of Kenya and moved towards Lake Rudolph, many people were affected by the ongoing malaria epidemic there, and they left this mission halfway. In such a situation, considering this as an opportunity, Gregory used the food and resources of his share and advanced his mission and reached Lake Beringo. Then, he saw that Lake Beringo was actually made up of some large and deep ponds that were filled with water. Now, to find out why this happened, Gregory decided to follow these cracks. And, while following them, he saw that these cracks were spread from the north tip of East Africa to Ethiopia and to Mozambique in the south. Now, this could only mean one thing, breaking a tectonic plate into two parts. Because, see, the way the Earth rises on the collision of two tectonic plates, in the same way, when they can fall apart, cracks start to form on the ground and start to fall down. And that's why Gregory named this phenomenon East African Rift. Which means, basically, our Earth is like Anak, which is breaking through the middle of Africa. And the fluid inside it is leaking out through the cracks and volcanoes. But, one minute, today, not just Africa, but almost the entire Earth, there are tectonic shifts happening everywhere. Like, the ridge of the Atlantic Ocean, the western coast of America, even the rings of fire off the Pacific Ocean. And, because of them, even the biggest earthquakes happen. So, exactly, why such a big commotion? Only when Africa breaks apart? Well, I got the same question, and when we did some research in this direction, we found out that breaking of the African continent is really a very unique and serious thing. Because, as I said in the beginning, the splitting has so much power that because of this, we replaced our ancestors in the past and in the future. The current creatures of Western Gods will be replaced by new creatures. Yes, think about it. You all know that the evolution of us humans started with Africa. But have you ever asked yourself this question? That we're exactly in Africa and why? Well, till now, all the famous human fossils that we have found which tell us the evolution of us from jumping on a tree to walking on the ground like Lucy, the Australopithecus afarensis, or Dracana boy and all these fossils between them all these are found round the East African Rift now to find so many human fossils in one area is not just a coincidence that means, clearly, there is some connection between the evolution of humans and these cracks. Well, to find this connection, scientists did these cracks, and along with it, did dating off those fossils, and they were shocked because all the fossils found there were 2 to 7 million years old. And during this time, due to the collapse of Africa, there were many changes in this region, due to which the dense forest there as soon as it was cut down, turned into a dry and barren grassland. So, if you look at this map, you will see almost the entire area near the equator, except for this. This is because, two to seven million years ago, when 
Africa had collapsed to a sufficient level, then in only the cracks, but also many uneven and dangerous areas, such as valleys and volcanoes, were formed, and this led to some currents of air, which generated, which pushed the wet air and clouds coming from the Indian Ocean, and that our environment was turned dry and barren. Because of this, the jungles there started to turn into such long grasslands, and according to scientists, these long grasslands force humans to walk on to Fido Day. Because this is the reason they were able to savvy themselves from other living beings on Dalso, they were able to go on a long journey. But there was only one problem in this, because of walking on to feet, the tactics of their hunting had to be changed majorly, and from here, a chain reaction started, where humans invented many tactics and tools to serve it, which led to the development of their brains, and they started to grow. Meaning, you can see, that when Africa was slowly splitting, even then, it had so much power, that that process, literally, wrote our fate with our own hands. In fact, why only this, even today, Due to the volcanoes present in these cracks, electricity is reaching many houses in Africa. In today's date, Kenya is generating 40% of its electricity consumption with the help of volcanoes. Because we all know that if you wrote it magnets, then current is generated. So, if you want to make a lot of electricity, then the same large magnets have to barricade it rapidly. Now, Ideally, what is done for this? Obviously, in electricity plants, by burning coal, or by nuclear reactions, water is made of steam, and then, the pressure of that steam makes the turbines rotate, and finally, these rotating turbines rotate the magnets and generate electricity. But, Kenyans are one step ahead of all of us. They thought, what if this steam starts producing naturally, and in this way, coal and nuclear power will not be needed, and we, like solar energy, will be able to make eco-friendly electricity. So, doing exactly this, they set up their electric plants very smoothly at such places, which are near volcanoes, and this happens that the lava present there heats the groundwater inside the earth and throws it out in the form of steam jets and the turbines start rotating under their pressure i mean to say is that if we look at it from the perspective of humans the splitting of africa and our domination off this earth these two processes through a lifetime of mankind are hand in hand and this is the biggest problem what do you think even after colliding with indian plate Africa will continue, humans. Because, take Rodinia, or Pangaea, when the supercontinents were broken, even then. Dinosaurs, like species, ruled this earth for many years. But, just a meteorite crash in our western Ghats triggered a series of volcanic eruptions. And, the poisonous gases that came out of it wiped out the dinosaurs from the entire earth meaning no matter how dominant we think where we can be equally replaceable in fact you might not know this but in these cracks in africa there are more than 500 species like for example itumbi owl and mountain gorilla which are found only in the east african rift these are the species that have evolved in the unforgiving environment of these cracks. Whereas, as soon as these cracks, we humans left Africa and ran away to the other continents. Meaning, survival of the fittest in this race. There are many such species that can defeat us if the circumstances change. Like for example, leave the rest Take blue whales, a mammal, who learned to survive in deserts, his intelligence and his body developed and he drastically increased his size. 
and this blue whale, in the beginning, was Alan Mammal, like a Lombardi. In fact, today, almost all the sea creatures are increasing their size to survive in the water. Now, why is their size increasing in the sea and their survival of the fittest strategy? What exactly is it? And if friends, you got to learn something new from this, then do hit the like button. See you next time. Till then, subscribe to the channel and keep the bell notification on. Stay curious, keep learning, and keep growing.